Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex, this is The Car Creative, and today, as you can see, we have a really sick Tesla, and I'm gonna take the opportunity to teach you guys how to do rolling shots. So throughout this video, I'm gonna teach you the best settings to use, why you use those settings, some accessories that you guys can get that are gonna make your life a heck of a lot easier. And because not everyone actually owns a Tesla, which is a self-driving unit, I'm actually gonna teach you guys how to do rolling shots on your own, meaning you don't need a third person. We actually are gonna use a rig and we're gonna do some rolling shots just on our own. Well, you need two people. You need the car you're gonna shoot and yourself and this rig. But yeah, first we're gonna go to another location, take some cool shots, and then I'm gonna show you guys how we do this. Be trying to get like a bird's eye view of the Tesla. Let's see what we got. I'm not saying COVID's been a good thing, not by any means, but as car photographers, like, it means like we have empty parkades all the time, empty streets. So it's been kind of nice in that sense. The rest of COVID's been a bummer. Okay, so the objective of getting a really great rolling shot is to have your road be buttery smooth and your car look crispy as heck. So there's some limitations that we have to work within. So to get our buttery smooth road, we need to have a really low shutter speed or like a one over 20th or one over 40th or depending if you're going faster, you can go a bit higher. But the objective is to get that shutter speed as low as you can while still maintaining a really sharp image with your car. So when you do that, you have to compensate because that's letting more light into your camera. You have to compensate by closing your aperture. So maybe going up to a 5.0 or six or seven or eight aperture, something like that so you have to compensate with your light today we're shooting in really bright conditions so I'm gonna use what's called a variable ND filter and you can turn this guy around to make sure that I can still use a decently low aperture get a nice buttery smooth road but still maintain a little bit of depth of field between me and the car so that's why you use a variable ND filter and you can get ND filters that also have polarizers on them uh, I'll link some of this stuff down below so you guys can check it out the bad thing about having a lower shutter speed though is when you're driving in your car or when many of us are hanging out the side of a car window, you might hit a bump and then that's gonna make your car turn blurry. And this is really important. Keep your ISO as low as you possibly can. So shutter speed low, ISO low, compensate with your aperture, and then if you have an ND filter, slap it on there and just twist it till you get the perfect exposure. So one of the ways that I'm gonna try and do it is we're actually gonna use a device on the side of the car, a stabilizer system, and if you guys don't have this thing, that's totally fine. Hang out the side of the car, but make sure, and I'm not gonna blab on, but do it safely. So if you drop your camera, well A, that sucks for you, B, that sucks for the car that's gonna run over it, but just be really safe and thoughtful about how you're gonna do this. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use this Delkin Fat Gecko. We're gonna stick it on the side of our chase car so that that way I can still drive reach my hand out the window and because my settings are already set exactly the way I need them we'll line the car up make sure that the follow car the car we're photographing is in the correct spot and then we can just cruise put our hand out the window and we'll shoot all day so another setting that you need to change before you start shooting is your focus so a lot of our focuses can do variable focus or one shot focus. You wanna change whichever camera you have, the Canon, the Sony, whatever, to continuous autofocus so that if the car moves forward or backward, that you're never actually gonna lose focus and it'll continue to track that car as it moves back and forth. So it's super important to make sure that the side of your car that you're mounting the Delkin Gecko to is like decently clean. Put down with a rag and then make sure that the suction mounts are also really clean. And we're just gonna pop this on here. Make sure you press down super duper hard because your camera's life depends on it. And let's see. You kind of make sure that your settings are already set the way we want it. We've got an aperture of four. We're gonna have a shutter speed of around one over 30th. And then we're gonna be able to use our ND filter to adjust. Okay, so this is our line of sight, the same shot that we're gonna get when we're rolling. So I'm getting our driver to pull the vehicle up to where he's gonna be when we do our rolling shots, and that way 
we know where he needs to be so we can get that crispy roller. Okay, right there. So this is what our angle's gonna look like. We just tell our driver to be in this type of frame and we should be able to get some pretty crispy rollers. Obviously, we might have some restrictions with traffic, etc. so we're just gonna do the best we can to be safe. And it's always good if you have like AirPods or Bluetooth in your uh, car to be able to communicate with the driver what you want from them as well. Okay, be Gucci. The great thing about this is like my seatbelt's on, there's minimal distractions, and I'm able to just, as long as he's in the right zone, I'm able to just keep clicking the shutter. Now of course, you don't have the variations of being able to reach out the window and shoot whatever you want, of course, but if you want, you can get out, switch your angle, and then keep shooting. Hey guys, welcome to Car Creative. My name's Alex, and today we're gonna to teach you how to do rolling shots with the Tesla Model S. Hey guys, there you go. You can do rolling shots all on your own. Just set the settings in advance. Make sure that your driver knows where they need to be. Communicate well, stay safe, and just get some sick shots. If I haven't already shown you some of these edits, I think they turned out pretty good. Obviously it was a bit of a busy road. We could have found some more beautiful locations, but this is what we got for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you're interested in, learning more about rolling shots, etc. If you'd ever do some of the shots with rigs or if you just like hanging out with car windows, that's fine too. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, please smash the like button down here and subscribe for me and come check me out on Instagram as well. I love hanging out with you guys over there. And otherwise we will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.